what what in this country do you do for an extended period of time and not eventually get paid more for? <coughs> Be a husband. Okay, besides that, but well, like, what do you right. do? In, what job right, sure. anybody work in this country? And ride sharing is basically a um a gig economy job, and that shit you actually losing money doing that shit. But like, I'm a barber. I started out when I started cutting hair as a barber. I was charging ten dollars a haircut. Ten dollars a haircut. I'm at forty now, and that's only with six years of experience, professional experience. No, I've been cutting since 2016 professionally. How many years is that? Is that eight? That's only with eight years of experience. Naturally, with inflation and with skill, you get paid more. You see that on the job. Naturally, as you progress through your job, the longer you work the job, raises come along, this, that, and the third. That's why I put that stat that 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 stat out that most people start at 30,000 and by retirement, they topping out at about 60, 65. That's your real American person. And, so, and this is how I know a lot of y'all are living above your means. Somebody said, oh, you're co uh, to live comfortably, your kids need to go to college. How can you say that 92000 is enough if your kids can't, don't go to college? College is an elite institution. Everybody ain't meant to go to college. Most of y'all are meant to, if your parents were plumbers and goddamn electricians and your mama was a secretary, that's kind of the area your ass is supposed to be in. Because that's what they can afford for you to go to. You go on and you go to a trade school because college is an elite institution. It wasn't meant for everybody to go. That's how you wind up seeing people who wind up thirty, uh, sixty, seventy thousand dollars in debt. And I'm gonna tell you, y'all want to know how most women accrue most of their college loan, uh, college loan debt? Forbearances and deferments. They start. They they graduate with only forty thousand dollars in student loan debt. They defer that shit for four years afterwards to put it in forbearance for four five years, and that shit will balloon to one hundred and twenty thousand almost career, overnight. Career students, we call them. Forty thousand. Start. They would. I bullshit. That's that's maybe one year for out of state students. Well, yeah, out of state. Well, you know, I've gone off of where when I was in college, but like now it's probably even more. And most of them, like I, I worked in, I worked in student loan collections, bro. People were putting forbearances on their accounts, and in less than because what happens is, is when you when you come out with a student loan, right? That's how much you owe. Say, for instance, uh, you say, okay, well, I can't pay it for the first six months. Those payments are still due. And they rack up on you. So you owe $900 a month to pay off your student loan debt. So you'll sit there on the forbearance. You'll say, okay, I can't pay it right now. You'll stop payments. And then the moment you put another forbearance on there or go into repayment, everything that you accrued compounds on top of the loan. So if you miss a thousand, if you missed a thousand dollar a month payment for 10 months, that's almost 10, uh, that's $10,000 thrown on top of your loan in less than 10 months. Just just on forbearances alone. So that's how a lot of them even accrue it. You're not meant to, everybody's not meant to go to college. So all this, oh, well, my kids are supposed to go to college on my income. That's bullshit. No, they're not. Barn, that's why you're supposed to make sure your kids got scholarships and shit and you make them apply for all those scholarships and stuff because that's the only way your kid realistically is going to get into college. Not so. But a lot of it, 80% of that is solid. That's why you start early and build your financial house. You start putting money aside and then that could offset some of the costs if your kids don't get get scholarships or anything like that. That's why you have to start your financial game plan early and stuff like that. But you made a lot of sense, Sweeney. And most of those people that graduate are not going into jobs to help them pay immediately for that debt that they incurred. And then they have to push it back and do whatever they can until they find something God forbid they didn't do that four years and that job that they wanted to do is now obsolete. Then they have to like figure it out from that point on. And that's where the point that you brought up comes in, which is spot on. Hey, Sweeney, uh, before we cut up at it, you got this. You want to explain what I'm about to play? Uh, yeah, basically it explains to women. It's, and this dude, I love this dude. He caught the whole math on, um, on uh, TikTok and on YouTube, basically. 
And this clip basically explains to women, you can only have two of the three when it comes to this triangle. And he created a triangle based on how society works. And he says, on this triangle, you can only choose two because that's how society actually works. You can roll a clip off of that. No body counts, no commitment, f***ing on the first date. Only two of these things can be popular. That's how the physical universe works. People seem to like these engineering triangles. This one is equal pay by law, men pay for everything, and men have no hoes. If you all want men who earn more, but you all want to earn the same, then that disqualifies most men, and you gotta fight over the tail. I don't make the rules, I just draw them. Everyone asked me to do another engineering triangle today. Here it is. It's the matrix of like finding a woman. You only get to pick two. So you've got the triangle, you've got hot, you've got sane, and then you've got single. You only get to pick two. If she's hot and she's sane, then she's definitely not single. If she's hot and she's single, she's definitely not sane. And if she's sane and she's single, well, she's definitely not hot. <laughs> So there you go, sane, single, hot, pick two. I'm gonna add at most. I don't wanna leave the girls out. Here's one for men, hot, rich, and no hoes. Pick two if you're above a seven, otherwise pick one. I hope to eventually reduce all choices to a web of interconnected triangles. There might be one in there about simping, maybe there's one about the honeymoon cycle. If you know any more, tell me in the comments. This one might be like, have female friends, have a girlfriend, peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> that one was funny. Peace of mind. <laughs> but no, basically he's saying that in society, women ask for, they, they requested to be able to make equal pay, equal money, right? So he said either you can have equal money and men pay. What did he say? You can either have equal money or men pay, but they don't have no hoes, but you can't have, but they have hoes or something like that. Or they can have money and, ho and no hoes, but then your ass got to pay. Or you can have pay, you can have equal pay, no hoes, but then a the man ain't going to be rich. However you want to pick that, you can only pick two on that triangle. And that's how the real world works. Hey, um, Sweeney, I'm kind of glad you brought that point up because I wanted to kind of reference something um, that was said earlier. Uh, and it basically was um, alluding to that black women basically have this mindset and others don't. Right. That was a TikTok video. And a lot of us live in Instagram world. When we're in this Instagram world, for the most part, it is a bit different. You see most uh, black people behaving like that. Step into the TikTok side a little bit. I'm telling you, it's a different animal. Um, and in real life, I deal with a lot of people who are not black. Right. White women are behaving like this Two Other races are behaving like this. It's a Western culture thing. Right. Period. There and a lot of white men are dealing with the same struggles. And I don't know if people understand it or not, but it was the white men who actually started the passport bro movement. So we're all dealing with the same struggle. It's just a Western civilization thing. Let me end with this. <clears throat> what, I, what I've heard a lot tonight is that you know what, just just that's the reality or this is just the reality or this is just, you know, this is just the way it's going to be. And I understand reality. You know, I took the red pill. I get it. I understand the real world. I'm just simply saying why we got to be last black men. Why we got to be the last ones on the totem pole when it comes to saying, well, fuck it. That's just how it is. It ain't going to be enough out there for us to all make it. To uh to 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 earn an average amount of such why we gotta be down here and just say, all right, well, that's just how the hood is. 